how you start your solo can set the tone for the entire improvisation. So I think it's a good idea to have some good solid ways in which you can start a solo when improvising. So in this lesson, I'm gonna share with you three easy ways which you can use the theme to start your solo so that there'll be no scales, modes, or any of that business required. So guys, pick up your guitars and let's do this. <laughs> Greetings jazz guitar gurus and welcome to today's lesson. My name is Jamie and I'm the founder of Jamie Horror Guitar which is a blog, video lessons and Patreon page all geared to helping you become a better jazz guitar player and if you haven't done so already then please consider hitting that subscribe button. All right, so what we're gonna be talking about in today's class is how you can start your solo just by using the theme of a melody. And the theme that I'm going to be using here is my own jazz blues theme, but I'm gonna be showing you how some of these things can be applied to any jazz standard that you're working on as well. All right, so I'm gonna play the theme just by itself so you can hear it. Then I'm gonna be talking about how you can use it. And by the way, if you wanna download the PDF for this theme or any of the examples from today's lesson, all the PDFs and tabs are supplied on my Patreon page, which is listed and linked to in the description below. All right, here's the tune. It's called Blues for Grant. <laughs> So kind of a simple R&B type of jazz blues theme. And the very first thing we're gonna be looking at doing is harmonic variations. So what that means is changing the harmony in which a phrase is over. So the very first phrase of this tune sounds like that, it's a little blues riff, all right? So if you were using that concept for this, you could take that theme and apply that over a different chord. So that in a jazz blues, the second chord is E flat. So this is really easy. All you have to do is... All right, that's not too bad at all. So, um, and you can create a little kind of blues and R and B motif. just by using that to start a solo. So that's the first thing, that's harmonic variation. You could do the same thing to a tune like Misty. The star is like that, right? And the melody by itself goes to that D natural. The second chord in Misty is B flat minor seven. So you could adapt that phrase to fit that chord as well. An example is how you could how you could do that with Misty. That's a harmonic variation using the phrase but over a different harmonic content. All right, and that's basically what I did with the first opening statement of mine. So the next thing is called rhythmic variation. And for this example, I'm going to use the last phrase of my jazz blues uh, theme, which is this little kind of uh, big band riff. <laughs> All right, and I could just apply that to the first couple of chords in a jazz blues. But what I'm gonna do is add some rhythmic variation. So the phrase by itself. You could add all kinds of rhythms to that. And the one, I'll try and play the one that I've got written out here. And um, just to give you an idea of how that sounds. So one, two, three, four. All right, and I'm just gonna do that one more time just to try and get those 16th notes a little bit more even so you can hear them, so. All right, 
Yeah, so that's um, the, the second one there. As you can hear, the same phrase, but with different rhythmic variation every time I played that. All right, so as you can see, usually I don't think this much about it. Um, I've just had to really get some concrete ideas down for demonstration purpose. Usually, you know, you can just use your ear. You don't have to think I'm changing the eighth note in, you know, on the second, the second note is, is now going to become a 16th note rather than an 8th note. You can just use your ears and act intuitively rather than think about it too academically. All right, which is what I tend to do. But that's the second one, rhythmic variation. The last one is melodic variation. So with this one, I'm actually varying the original melody a little bit. So um, again, I'm, I'm taking that last big band style phrase. <laughs> All right, so as you can hear there, that was the same phrase. But I just added kind of a blues phrase to it when I repeated it over the E flat chord. So B flat, if I just played it over E flat, but what I did, is that, so I just expanded it um, melodically, added more to that, all right? And I wasn't thinking of scales, I was just thinking of blues language. Which one of these melody variations did you enjoy? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below, and if you have any questions, then please just leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.